I like it when it's you and me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we back into our dock. Cisco is at uh, that white building back there. And uh, we're leaving. I have been in that dock for almost, well, I've been in the gate. Actually, no, it's, it's afternoon now. It's afternoon now. Anyway, I have been in that gate. I'm sorry, in the gate for about three hours now. Three hours. I rolled in there at 10. My appointment's not until 10.30. I rolled in at 10. They got me, uh, called me around 11, 11.30 or so for a dock. I got into the dock and then now it's a waiting game. I talked to the guard and I was like, hey, like, bro, last time I was here, I was here eight hours. Eight hours? I said, yeah, like, bro. Like, so, He's like, oh, well, usually I'm the one that offloads the trucks. Let me go in there and see if I can look out for you. I said, okay. All right, cool. And so uh, he went in there. He's like, they'll call you. I said, oh, God. I know what that means. So we're out walking the streets of uh, New Orleans, Harahan specifically. And uh, I'm going to go find something to eat. He said there's some cool little spots around here. So I'm gonna walk around and try to find a restaurant. But uh, I do see a fleet pride up the road here. I'm gonna go in there and see about getting a few parts for the truck. Can I walk back there? Nah, I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm not gonna cut across no lots. But anyway, let's get up here to this fleet pride. Get us, uh, I need to get a radiator cap. I'm actually gonna get two just so I have a spare. I'm gonna get two radiator caps and uh, find something to eat. Leaving good old Fleet Pride. I got some two radiator caps. I need to change out the one I have currently. And then my, got a spare. I always gotta have a spare. We're only about 10 bucks a piece. So quick, easy. Uh, Either we're going to go back to the truck or we're going to go find something to eat. I don't know. Let's see what's next. Let's go try out this restaurant. All right, now we're out of there. Food was okay. Nothing special, just a typical burger. Fries were mediocre. The shake was decent. <laughs> there was a shake I had in that, uh, that little uh, mason jar. But, give it like a six and a half out of 10, seven out of 10. I mean, the food was decent, just nothing special about it from what I was expecting, but. What gives it a seven is the milkshake. But let's get back on down to the truck. So the day just gets interesting, y'all. So we're already, we've been here for five hours already. And the place that we're, ugh, about to go pick up from my delivery appointment is already uh it's already passed thankfully they'll they'll stay late and wait for me but the shipper sent 45 cases of the wrong product and i'm stuck with them so i called the uh the agent and she's supposed to call me back but i can't even go pick up my next load because it's, it's hazmat product some kind of cleaning cleaning stuff but I can't go pick up my next load because it's hazmat and Landstar has a whole policy on that. So I may have to cancel my next load. I don't know. 
Ah, oh, man, it sucks. 45 cases of the wrong product. So I'm just waiting on the phone call to see what to do. So they're trying to find a facility for me to drop it off at in between here and my next pickup. But uh, we're just waiting on the phone call to see what to do. So stand by and stay tuned. I told you guys I had a bad feeling when I booked this load. I just knew it was gonna be some BS. It's always some BS when going to Cisco. We've already been here for five hours. I better not miss this next load. I better not miss it, man. It's gonna mess up my whole entire week. But let's go back here, get everything situated. And uh, hopefully they get it resolved. Well, strap down with our mighty product strap. Man, this sucks, y'all. Ugh. All right, let's slide our tandems and get on out of here. All right, so they found a spot for me to take this stuff. And it's in Baton Rouge, which is not far from my... Uh, my pickup. Man, this place is a cluster, y'all. Goodness. So, if a little bit about it, we might be able to still make this work, y'all. We might be able to still make this work, prayerfully. But they are going to pay me an extra 250 bucks for this. So, uh, she asked me if I wanted more. I told her no. I didn't want any more negotiating or anything. But, like, I just, like, they give me 250. It's not like it's completely out of the way. So, I mean, that's fair. She looked out for me, so I'm not trying to be greedy. Is it an inconvenience? Yes. So it's this 250 plus. Uh, I've worked with this agent before, and uh, they're pretty good about paying attention. So I think we'll make off pretty good this load. Squeeze through here. Alright. Let's make sure my logs are in place. I walked up to my truck, they were done, so. Never again. It just sucks, because this was the only load coming out of Dallas. So I don't know. I, I have no idea.
All right, they snatched it on off. 20 minutes away from our, our pickup. Let's see if we can make it. Gonna be cutting it super, 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 super close. So let's see if they'll still pick me. All right, let's roll. Freaking made it, y'all. Freaking made it. 10 minutes to spare. Oh, man. Talk about some adrenaline. Goodness, man. Y'all ever need anything, any, any freight hogs? You know who to call. I'm gonna make it happen. I can't believe we made it here with 10 freaking minutes to spare, y'all. Goodness. Talk about stress. Because if I missed on this load, I would have had to call every other load for the rest of for the rest of the week to cancel it. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. One of the the dock workers pissed me off. I run, I'm going there, running up to the building, trying to get in there, and he's like, "You kind of lay there, aren't you?" Like, dude, <clears throat> I just looked at him and I said, "If you only knew my day," I just kept walking on ahead. I'm just saying, you just you just kind of late there, aren't you? Like, don't make any comments or remarks on something you have you have no freaking idea what what's been going on today. You know, all you're looking at is uh, sat there in that dock for five hours. Turn my flashes off. Sat there in the dock for five hours to have that stupid pallet left on the truck. Of course, the time they got me offloaded for me to leave was during rush hour. So I ended up stuck in rush hour. As y'all saw, y'all saw. Got there to the place. Thankfully, they went ahead and snatched it off the truck right away. And then, and thankfully, we didn't have really any traffic coming over here. But, oh man. Oh man. <clears throat> and then all you can say is, kind of late there, aren't you? Doing all this, did all this. Now, I have a nine hour drive <laughs> to Laredo. So if they get me out of here by eight, get my hours back by 
Uh, and I'm not getting my hours back. They get me out of here by eight. That means I'm not going to get to Laredo until five in the morning, y'all. Five in the morning. And the place I'm going to, I've been here before. I think they open at eight. I think they open either eight or nine o'clock. So I'll be able to take a, that's if I, actually, no, no, no. I won't get there at five. I got to do a 30 minute break in between. And I'll have to get some fuel. So I'm probably going to be getting there between 5.30 and 6 a.m. Between 5 and 6. And then, um, man, that sucks. This sucks to even think about. Get there between 5 and 6. Take about a two or three hour nap. <coughs> creep into the facility. Get off loaded. And then once I get my hours back, uh, go pick up my next load that's going out to Dallas. Look, running a little late there, aren't you? Oh, okay, dude. All right. Anyway, I'm 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 gonna let it go. But but yeah, y'all, super stressful day. Super 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 stressful. <clears throat> but blessed at the same time to knock all this out. Otherwise, it would have been a domino effect. I would have to cancel all my loads for the rest of the week. But thankfully, thankfully, it all worked out. So, um, oh, man. And that's if they have me out of here by 8. If they have me any time after that, then it's... But anyway, let me catch my breath, and we'll see how long this takes. <laughs> It's been a long time coming. I finally organized all my straps. The only mighty straps I have, I have some more blue ones, but I need to get rid of all these and stick to my mighty product stuff. So any uh, future dropping hooks that require straps, I'll be getting rid of the other ones. Getting loaded. And thankfully, it was this facility and not the other one out there in Plaquemine because uh, this one, I mean, they cut off loading at four o'clock, but they'll stay late until seven. Or oh, they'll work with me to get me in by seven, but. Uh, the other one, I think the cutoff time is like 3 or 4 o'clock regardless. So, had it been the other facility, we wouldn't have made it. You know? We would have been in trouble. But thankfully, it's this one. And then thankfully, in two weeks, not two weeks, in like two or three days, later this week, we'll have this, uh, the same facility again. Which I really prefer this one and where it's located. It's right off the interstate. The other one's probably 15 miles off, 15, 20 miles off the interstate. So I don't prefer that one. I prefer this one. But thankfully, it was this one. But we should be out of here shortly. Uh, like I said, then we'll get some miles behind us. But we'll have to wait on paperwork and the seal and everything. But it's thankful to finally uh, be able to move forward after this day. Even though I got to pull an all nighter. But it is what it is. You gotta love it. That's trucking for you. But the way he's loading us, we should be out of here in the next 15, 20 minutes or so. Guys, we are loaded. Let's see what we got.
we got 600 miles to knock out tonight. Definitely was an unfortunate day. Definitely feels like 45,000 pounds. Trying to get through this week. It's only Monday. My plan was for this to be a smooth week to prepare for the Mid America Truck Show next week in Louisville, Kentucky. March 21st through the 23rd. Hope to see you guys there. All I was praying for was a smooth week. Should turn wide enough. Truck Show. We're excited to meet you in person. We'll be at the Mighty Products booth. Alright, so it's about 9 o'clock now. It took them two hours. So I ended up having to do a split sleeper. But it took them two hours. It goes 9 o'clock now. We're about nine hours away plus a 30 minute break yeah we'll be getting there at about 6 6 30 in the morning or so that is definitely depressing to say yeah it just sucks that the only load available was that cisco load for me to get out of dallas i knew i knew it something was going to happen had we not had that uh, the whole pallet situation, I still would have been late, but it would have been okay. That whole pallet situation would have really messed up. Got a lot of twisted and turning to do up here. But come on. Uh, Really come May or so. I'll be able to tone it down a little bit with my work ethic. I'll be able to calm down a little bit after the Mid-America Truck Show, after we get the repairs done on this truck. And then just some stuff we got going on behind the scenes that y'all will find out about a, a little bit later. But once all that stuff is, uh, taken care of, I'll be able to uh, calm down a little bit. Let's get up this hill.
Guys, thank y'all for hanging out with me on this uh, interesting day. Better days to come soon. But thankfully in the end, it all kind of worked out.